episode of EBSE 생활 영어. I'm Megan Bowen. 안녕하세요, 여러분. EBSE 생활 영어의 선현우입니다. 반갑습니다. 네, 안녕하세요. 안녕하십니까? 안녕하세요. 네, 선생님은 혹시 목발을 짚어본 적이 있어요? Well, yes, but not because I needed it, but because my cousin had them and I wanted to try it when I was little. <웃음> 보통 정말 어릴 때 그런 것 같아요. 주변에 yeah. 누가 목발 짚는 친구가 있으면 yeah. 꼭한 번쯤은 사용해 보고 싶어 yeah. 하는데 어, 그렇군요. 저는 실제로 다쳐서 쓴 적이 있었어요. Really? 네, What 한, happened to your leg? Yeah, something happened to my leg and mm-hmm. I had to use crutches. Well, one crutch oh, for right. about two months. It wasn't fun. 재미없었어요. 즐겁지 yeah, 않았어요. I don't think it would be fun. 네. I'm glad that I've never injured my legs to 음. that point. Yeah. 네. 물론 뭐안 다치면 제일 좋겠지만 가끔은 이런 것들이 필요할 때가 있잖아요. Yeah. 그런 이야기를 오늘 또 준비해 봤습니다. Mm-hmm. 자, 그럼 먼저 핵심 표현 소개해 주시죠. Okay, today's key expression is I was on crutches for a few days. One more time. I was on crutches for a few days. 저는 며칠 동안 목발을 썼어요라는 말이죠. Mm-hmm. 저는 며칠 동안 목발을 썼어요. 다시 한번 I was on crutches, crutches. for a few, few days. days. 이 crutch에 대해서는 잠시 후에 자세히 이야기를 하고 mm-hmm. 목발을 썼다라는 말을 I was using crutches라고 해도 되지만 mm-hmm. on crutches라고 해요. On 했네요. crutches. Yeah, we usually say on crutches instead of using crutches. Mm-hmm. 물론 using이라고 해도 틀린 말은 아닌데 right. on이니까 그 위에 몸을 right, 얹어 놓는 거잖아요. Yes, they're supporting your weight. Yeah, you're relying on your crutches. Right. 네, 그래서 I was on crutches. 그리고 거의 뭐 누워 있을 때나 앉아 있을 때는 필요 없지만 거의 항상 이동하려면 거기 right. 위에 마치 장착된 것처럼 on. Right. 이렇게 되어 있으니까 이런 mm-hmm. 말을 쓰는 것 같습니다. Mm-hmm. 며칠 동안 목발을 썼어요. 이 표현 기억해 주시고요. Mm-hmm. 단어 공부하러 가볼까요? Okay, it's time for vocabulary breakdown. breakdown. <웃음> 네, 오늘 vocabulary breakdown에서는 방금 전에 소개했던 목발 이야기를 조금만 더 해보죠. 자, 단어는 바로 목발, crutch인데요. crutch를 복수 형태로 쓰겠죠, 양쪽이니까 일반적으로. 그런데 지나치게 의지하게 되는 것도 crutch라고 표현을 합니다. 그리고 그럴 때에는 a crutch라고 많이 말을 하는데 한번 관련 표현 두 개만 소개하겠습니다. 첫 번째는 그렇게 자주 쓰이진 않지만 가끔씩 여기저기서 등장하게 되는 stiff as a crutch. stiff as a crutch. completely broke. 무일푼의 돈이 하나도 없는 이라고 하는 의미로 가끔씩 등장을 합니다. 그래서 stiff as a crutch 그냥 참고로만 알아두시고 실제로 정말 많이 쓰이는 표현은 두, 두, 두 번째 표현인데요. use 뭐뭐뭐 use something as a crutch 하면 무언가를 목발로 사용하다 어디에 지나치게 의지하다라는 말인데요. 이 표현 기억해 주시고 조금만 더 메간 선생님과 함께 이야기 나눠 보겠습니다. Okay, so let's talk. Let's talk about <웃음> this expression using something as a crutch. As a crutch. Okay, so you know crutches support your weight. So anytime there's anything that you need to heavily rely on, whether it be in like a stressful situation, mm-hmm. if something's a crutch, it could be like a vice. Like if food is your crutch, 아, that means that food is what keeps you going. Maybe. You kind of, yeah. 여러분이 가지고 있는 어떤 강점도 mm-hmm. crutch가 될수 있어요. Mm-hmm. Maybe a strong point that you have can be a crutch. Of course. When you want to try something entirely new in a new field, mm-hmm. 새로운 분야에서 새로운 걸 시작하고 싶은데 mm-hmm. 자꾸 이 다른 분야에서 잘 쌓아온 mm-hmm. 그걸 이용하려고 할 때, mm-hmm. 의지하려고 할 때. For example, let's say, I don't know, it, it, it can be a good thing, but let's say I speak English. You do speak English very well. Yeah, and then, thank you. And then I start something entirely new. And because I'm not doing so well in the new field, mm-hmm. I keep falling back on and I keep mm-hmm. using English as a crutch. Right. 자꾸 영어에 의지하려고 하는 거예요. Right. So anytime you're in a situation where things aren't going well and there's something you need to rely on or something that keeps you moving or keeps you going or something that allows you to be supported, 네. it could be a crutch. So like in your case, in 그렇죠. terms of, you know, you're working, you rely on your English, so it's your crutch. 또는 이럴 수도 있겠죠. 어, 자신의 상황. Mm-hmm. Being a man, being mm-hmm. a woman, mm-hmm. or being maybe, I don't know, a single child in the family. Mm-hmm. 그런 것들에 너무 지나치게 의존을 할 때. You can use it as a crutch. Of course. Especially yeah. kids use being the youngest as their crutch to 맞아요. get out of a lot of situations kids, as well. I think kids use being a, a kid, kid as a crutch. That's true. <laughs> 나 아기니까 아이니까 봐줘. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh my goodness, yes. They, I used to do that. Me too. Yeah. 
up until high school, I guess. High school? I still do it now. What 아, do you 진짜요? mean? I'm just joking. 고등학생이니까 봐주세요. 이런 것도 using it as a crutch, mm-hmm. using your student status mm-hmm. as a crutch 이렇게 표현할 수 있습니다. Mm-hmm. 조금 생소한 표현 또는 개념이었나요? Mm-hmm. All right, so that's that, and now let's move on to the pronunciation part. Okay, let's practice our pronunciation. All right, so first let's read the sentence. I was on crutches for a few days. I was on crutches for a few days. And here, there's not any particular part that I think is. fairly difficult or fairly connected together. So let's just practice saying the word crutches because it could be kind of difficult to say sometimes. Crutches. Crutches. Okay, very good. So let's just repeat the sentence two times. I was on crutches for a few days. I was on crutches for a few days. All right. Perfect. 네, 발음 연습이었고요. 이번에는 이야기를 들으러 가보겠습니다. Okay, it's time for English on, on the go. go.